let me just get the other team so we can take a picture of this and then find out what the fresco has to say. Let's let's do that. All right. Use the camera. Letters appear. And the date is May 24th. The blue fire prey with the gem in hand. Well, that's kind of false. You guys have the gem, right? Yes, you do. All right. Gem is a one-time use all item. It'll still be in your inventory, but after this it is useless. And you don't have to pray to use it. Hence why it's false. It, it's false information right there. You don't have to pray whatsoever. It's not going Castlevania 2. There is a pray option, but not important. You can use the key, but it's pointless. So you know what? For the first time, we gotta use the low key. Man. I don't care what you say. I, I like the low key. It doesn't have a lot of uses, but hey, it's a different key than the other things. Oh boy, it's a new place. They hear a baby. It's crying. That's creepy. I, I don't know what, is that the sounds baby makes? I don't know. How old was this kid? In the movie, they explained that the kid just started learning how to walk. The incinerator. In the movie, they explained what happened is, like, so they have a giant incinerator, right? Like, I guess this whole thing, that thing right there is technically the incinerator. Let me take a look at this doll. The incinerator, the children burned. So, yeah, what happened is uh, the child started learning how to walk. It walked into the incinerator because it's so goddamn huge. Which is a little odd for me, but then again, it's a mansion, so I guess it has to be huge in order for it to heat up the whole entire mansion and so the baby the baby the kid the infant it walked into the incinerator lady mommy didn't know it was in the incinerator so you know it it kind of it kind of got burned to death oh hey new enemy skeleton we saw them they're kind of horrific personally if you ask me what makes it even scarier than a regular skeleton cuz i don't know i don't really find skeletons all that terrifying that was close also, I, I just remembered, uh, if you're in a battle and one of those spirit things comes to get you, uh, it does not it does not work. You don't get spirited away, which is kind of fortunate. But I think you actually have to be in battle, not being called into a battle. So if you have free movement, it, it doesn't work. But if you're in the battle and your team's trying to get it and the spirit passes through them, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, I was saying skeletons. Oh, yeah. So, this skeleton has some decay on it. I, I find decay quite... Oh, hello. I find decay quite horrific. It's like zombies, except even worse, because skeletons are pretty much all decayed, except uh, they're, they're, they're pretty much clean. Not that scary, but decay... I don't know. Whatever. You get my point? You get it? You get it? Let's take a look. All right. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's do that. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing. All right, you know that, that's fine. I, I'm just saying, like, I find decay and skeletons far more creepy because decomposition is pretty gross. I didn't need to do that. It doesn't matter. Let me just take a look before I go reassemble. Let's open this one. Uh. That's a little eerie, right? <laughs> I mean, first we got nothing, then we got a corpse. I was not ready for that. Okay, I was. I'll stop playing. I was. Oh. Uh. Okay, I gotta be honest. When it looks at you, that that actually does kind of does kind of give me a little bit of chill. It it it's a little uh. It's a little unsettling. Just a bit. But we can open this one and we totally we totally get a key. That was the right one. I wasn't gonna fall for your tricks. Now, I don't recommend opening this one. Actually, before I do, let me just get a key go over here. Alright. I don't recommend opening this one. And you probably want me to, and I will just because I need to sate your curiosity as not so much mine. Don't open it. Just don't. Because you're foolish if you do. Yeah, we got a skeleton and he attacks. He does his little blue whatever and, he, and you're poisoned. 
But, you know, since I, uh, I fortunately did prepare just slightly ahead and can cure Kazuo with, uh, with the poison, I can also pick up this fabulous Dire Key. Fabulous Dire Key. Oh, I know, you're curious. What does the diary say? Well, you know, you can also look at the snow before we figure that out, because my job is done. Head to the veranda. You must get more power to push the statues. I wish I could go with you. Dot, dot, dot. Unfortunately, the rest is illegible. I guess he died. And there's a blood trail. That's always eerie. It reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. Everyone remember that part in the Shinra headquarters? Go up, blood trail, and then you go to the president with the sword in the back, and it, it's not as horrific as it sounds, but uh, you see Headless Genova earlier, and that's horrific. Blood, Takashi, Kenji, Atsuo. Am I even pronouncing those right? Never give up. That's both inspirational and depressing, because it's in blood. And that's all legible, so that, that's just sad. Let's take a look. Skeleton. He must have written the notes. How sad. How how long was he down here? I mean, let, let me just say, you know, I, I can understand a corpse, last words, writing in blood, you know, that that's fine. I, I have no issue with that. He's a skeleton, he's already composed. That wouldn't, that, I would assume years would have to pass, like decades, if not, if not, like, I don't know, half a decade. I. I don't know how decom. I wanted to say decompression. God help me, I'm fighting a rape. Uh, I don't know how, you know, a body decays and how long it decays before, you know, it's just bones. We killed that guy. He didn't spirit us away. That's fine. He didn't blow wind. That's horrib. Oh, hey. I thought someone got cursed. But they didn't. We're fine. Emmy is the key bearer. I, I am designating her as key bearer simply because she has a key. So, pretty much she's going to hold all the keys. And as far as I know, that, that that's all you really need. So, other than that, we're pretty much done with the basement. That, that was all that part. We're going to go to the diary. Remember this area? I probably should go get that that pig right there. On a side note, actually, let me let me just get that. I know you guys are probably like, "Hey, what what's in the diary?" No, seriously, what's in the diary? Well, you know, I want that pick. It's very handy for the next for the next area. Is that is September? That that's a big jump for me. Okay, September twenty third. She shut herself in her room. October fourth. The door is locked. I have to enter through the veranda. I must stop her. This is it. Icharu's. I'm gonna say Icharu. I don't know. Is that even right? Uh, okay, it's his diary. Yeah. Her spirit has become possessed with rage. The innocent death must stop. Even if it means losing my own life. Did he fall victim as well? We don't know. I don't know. We, we still can't pick up the diary as much as we wish we could. I wish I could. Oh, hey, it's just a regular man. Not a madman. I almost never run into madmen for some reason. I don't know. Every time I play this game, uh, I find that certain enemies either spawn or don't spawn. It, so, like, every playthrough is different, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Not that much in terms of replayability, but at the same time, it's kind of nice when you run into an enemy that you figure is never going to happen. I also have to ask, do you guys have, you do have a pick? Okay, we're good. I want both teams to have picks. Very important, in my opinion. Very important. Also, good idea that someone has a bow. So this is the veranda. If it wasn't made obvious. Now we can push these things. We couldn't before. You could try it. Just it, it doesn't work. But now. Not an issue. Now we don't have to worry. Now we got wall. I'm just going to kill wall. Actually. I, I don't think I can kill wall. I think I can try. But it doesn't work as much as I think it can. <coughs> I, I, I like to think. 
I can, but it, it doesn't, right? No? Yes? Why am I fighting? A hound? What? Um, okay, you know what? Fine. I'll, I'll fight hound. I'll fight hound because, you know, hound, hound is very, very pathetic. Don't need to worry about it. I'm just gonna push that and then I'm gonna go back to Kazuo. Now, I can use the bow. I like bow. If you try to use rope, it doesn't work. As much as you, as much as you try. And also, let me, uh, let me not talk, but let me, t let me split up from the other guys. Because now, as you can imagine, I gotta go across, get the other guys. Just team up with them. There we go. And then go to the other side. We got some weapons while we're at it. But before that, I'm just I'm just gonna go back, team up with everybody, be, yeah, be all happy. Take a look. Ooh, okay. The silver sword is a very good item. I can highly recommend picking up one for someone. Uh, I'm gonna say Asuka. You be the bearer of that silver sword. On the other hand, oh, now what I want, I want to look at that. We got a flash knife. I don't know if flash knife is really a upgrade, but I'm, I'm gonna take it regardless. Also, just just for completion's sake, we got another rune axe. Completely pointless. Don't even need it. Is low key? Ah, oh, it is. It's low key. That was the weirdest pronunciation of saying low key ever that I've done. Let me just get the other team into this. It's better to have them go in here than uh, everyone else. Because we have we have traps. All I'm going to do is split up everybody. Go to Taro. And go all the way over here so I can activate that. Yeah. I, uh, I, want, I want to make sure I can do that. Because... You know, the uh, the other team, they have three people. They have three people and it, it's a little hard. Uh, you kind of get hit regardless. But two people, two people, this is totally, totally manageable. Not an issue whatsoever. Well, I guess it's really not that much of an issue. Even if you get hit, it's not like end of the world. I think it takes away 20 points. I think. I'm not about to try that out, but, you know. I think I, I believe that's what it does so best to avoid that and now let me think yeah we're doing pretty good we're doing we're doing a thing I think I'm not entirely sure but I think you can use mallet right here you can it makes a walk it makes a path. I, I, okay. That's what that note does. That's what that note signifies. We got some new enemies, like Ghoul. He came back. He's pissed off. I think, I think this is what I've done to him. You know, like, I, uh, I just, I defeated him a bunch. And so now he's even more horrific. He's like, he's just back for his vengeance. He, he hates me. Ghoul hates me. At least that's what I choose to believe. I, I beat him into submission, and now he's pissed off, wants vengeance, and more horrific because of his battle wounds that I inflicted onto him. I, I'm not safe, but he gives a, a nice, hefty experience boost. Uh, and dagger. See if my intuition can save me. It can. I, I've been on a roll with all these, uh, all these, all these, um all these traps I've, I've been on a roll all right I I got a random encounter but I got I know what oh hey he really is back for Avengers he's persistent he's stalking me that that's fantastic I'm fine with it he's not gonna send my party members anywhere that's fine I don't have a hard tag because I'm in fear that this guy is gonna end up pushing someone to a place where I'm it's gonna be a pain trying to get him back to the whole group. I don't have to worry about that with this guy. I do with other people or other other enemies. But what I was going to say is that I need to use the key right here. 
See, it's not it's not crucial, but it helps a lot that you open up both these doors with the regular key. Wait, uh, I can't. I can't. Oh, oh. Maybe maybe it's situational. I have to open it up from the other side. And if that's what I think it is, there is a reason for that. But that doesn't matter. We have this guy who says the room is closed. Must find the two keys. Two keys. 